Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for, um, why are they honking? I don't know. Thanks for uh, joining me on this video today. It is Friday the 13th in March of 2020. If I could go to an urgent care today and it was free, even if I had to pay some little uh, small fee, like 10 or 20 bucks, I would go get tested today. Why? Do you think you have it? Do I think I have it? Honestly, I think there is a reasonable chance, reasonable that I have it, but I think there's a reasonable chance that thousands of people around me also have it here in Las Vegas. Um, the governor yesterday, Sisolak, uh, said in a press conference that as a state, Nevada, has a total available pool of tests for coronavirus right now if they want to start doing them. And they're doing a few here and there, but they're doing an absolute tiny trickle of tests. Why? It's not because they don't want to. And the governor is pissed. He said yesterday uh, he is pissed off about this and he's griping to the, um, to the, to the uh, federal government, you know, that this is unacceptable. He's really pissed off and they're bugging him every day for more tests. So anyway, we have a total pool of available tests to us right now of 800. 800 tests for the entire state. We're talking about here in Las Vegas, the biggest population pool, there's about 3 million people or close to that, okay? And the only way you sort of curb and you stop the, the uh, coronavirus just exploding and spreading everywhere out of control is, and you've heard this on the news probably, unless you've been living under a rock, um, the only way to prevent that is by people that find out they have it staying home. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Well, of course they're going to stay home if they're sick, amateur. No, no, here's the thing. Most people, a lot of, at least half people that get this, especially kids, they have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. Okay, there was a lady just on the homepage of CNN yesterday. She would not have even known she had it if she hadn't been a part of this study where they were just doing various types of studies and tests on people with the flu uh, to see how their testing worked. <clears throat> and coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, was one of the tests they included in this, just as a random sampling, just to see, uh, you know, what, what comes of it. And um, she tested positive for it. She had no respiratory symptoms. No cough, not a dry cough, nothing, okay? She felt a little feverish, and she did run a fever for a couple of days. But other than that, she felt okay. She felt fine. Right now, today, if you walk into any health clinic or hospital here in Las Vegas and you have those symptoms, they cannot test you. They cannot test you because they're prioritizing based on people with the worst of symptoms only. And there's a very strict set of criteria you have to meet in order for them to approve you for a coronavirus test. You have to have the fever. You have to also have the dry cough, not one or the other. You have to have both of those, okay? You have to also have known to come into contact, direct contact, with a confirmed positive testing person. Or you have to have recently traveled abroad to like Italy or China, Wuhan, or one of the hot zones and have these symptoms. Um, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Think about how many people, and there's already a lot of people, it's coming out all over the news, there's a lot of people that have all the symptoms. They're going into the hospital, they're talking to their primary care physician, saying, I need the test. I feel like I have it. Some of these, a lot of these have already even been tested for common influenza, which is the closest thing that it would be if they, do, if they don't have the coronavirus. Then they have the, they have the uh, regular influenza, right? They're testing negative for regular influenza, which means, what else is it? If you test negative for common influenza, they have to give you the coronavirus test. They must, but right now they will not. They will not unless you have met all these other criteria as of today's date. This is confirmed. You can go check it out on the news right now. Uh, these people need a test. If I go in and ask for one today, they won't give me one. Um, so what do you? Th so here's the ramifications, other than it's spreading around. Here's the thing. What do you think somebody's going to do if they just feel generally a little bit crappy, you know, 
maybe a very slight fever, no cough, but they feel fine otherwise. You take a couple Advil, you don't even feel that uh, minor fever, you know, the 99 or degree or, or whatever, low fever. That goes away. The fever will actually come down, right, if you take some ibuprofen or something. You're gonna go into work if you don't have paid sick leave. If you're an Uber driver like me, or a delivery person, or someone that works gigs or works at the trade shows. Some, a lot of my riders work trade shows full time when the trade show circuit here in Vegas. They're models or whatever, they work down there. They do not have paid sick time. If they don't go in, they're not getting paid. And if they don't have good reason, definitive reason not to go in, you know, like I said, if they just have a low fever, they feel a little bit under the weather, but a couple Advil and they're good to go, they're gonna go to work. However, if those same people are given the test and they say, I'm sorry, miss, I'm sorry, sir, you just tested positive for the coronavirus, no big deal, your body's doing fine, you know, you're, you're healthy, you're young, go home and sleep. However, you're in quarantine for 14 days. The government needs to help you out with pay on that case. You know, they're supposed to, I think they're going to. That still remains to be seen how that works out, how fast they're gonna pay you. But here's the thing, here's my point. That person is gonna be at home now because there's a moral um, blocker on them from, um, from going into the office. If you know definitively that you have it, let's hope most people are not gonna say, well, screw everyone else, I'm going to work anyway because I need money today, I feel fine, even though I know I have it. Hopefully most people are gonna say to themselves, okay, I have it, this is all over the news, I can't be spreading this thing around. Plus, you know, the, the government officials, the medical officials, they're gonna know you have it anyway, so they should do some sort of uh, quarantine enforcement, right? I, mean, I don't know if that's going on. Other countries are doing it, but we need to do that. So my point of this whole video is, why is the government and the medical community only prioritizing giving coronavirus tests to the people with the worst symptoms, with all these confirmed things? Think about it, a person that is in that bad a shape, uh, you know, and they're feeling that ill, they're not going to go to work anyway. If you have a really nasty cough and a high fever, even if you don't even think about the coronavirus, even if you just think you have a nasty cold or the flu, you're gonna be in bed anyway because you're not gonna feel like shit. You're not gonna feel good enough to go to work. The people we need to be prioritizing testing on is not those people because we can't do anything for them anyway unless they, um, unless they need additional medical assistance like a ventilator or oxygen, okay? The people, huh, this is so common sense. The people we need to prioritize testing on is... Um, is the people with mild symptoms, mild symptoms. Why? Those people are the people that are most likely going to be out in society and um, they're gonna be out in society and they're gonna be mingling with other people. They're gonna go to work and they're gonna infect other people because they don't feel very bad and, and nobody's testing them anyway. They can't get a test so they say, screw it, I can't get a test. Maybe I have it, maybe I don't. I feel okay, I'm going to work. I just find it interesting. I wanna see what other people think about why we would prioritize only on the sickest of the sick people and not on the people that feel somewhat okay, but the symptoms match everything. The symptoms are weird, like you have this dry cough. I mean, at least test the people that have a dry cough and a, some sort of a fever. Test them, test all of those people. Uh, bottom line, I don't think we have the test right now. I mean, it's. I mean, Nevada confirms it alone. We have 800 tests for, for three million people. <laughs> I mean, and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to prioritize it. They don't want to waste the tests, right? They don't want to waste them, and use them on people that that maybe don't have it. But if you can't do much for the people anyway, even if they're severe, other than quarantine them, but they should be isolated anyway because they're highly uh, they're highly ill. They don't feel well, so. I don't understand any of the logic that's going on. It's driving me nuts. Um, I got to do a few uh, errands today. So I'm running around a little bit. I am not driving Uber passengers around today. Um, but uh, I got to make some runs. I got to pick up a few more things back for my mission control. And um, I might do a couple of Ubers tomorrow. I'm getting close to cutting off uh, driving for Uber, driving passengers around. I had a guy in my car yesterday. He was coughing. He let out a couple of huge, nasty sneezes. You know, just you could just hear the, the filth. It's like awful. It's the worst thing that, that you want to hear. And um, when you're a driver, when you're an Uber driver and there's a pandemic, you know, two of them in a row. 
and I keep my windows cracked, you know, about this much all the time because I want fresh air, but that's not going to save you. I have it. If that guy had it, I have it, you know, so I'm going to, I'm going to just go into, um, the way I can at least lower my risk a little bit, I think is just to do the Uber Eats, the food delivery. And I'm only going to make like a fifth of what I would normally make, but, um, I won't have people riding in my car in close proximity to me. I have to go into the restaurant, grab the food. Hopefully I'm in and out. I hold my breath while I'm in there. Um, I go drop the food off. Here, here's your food. Don't touch the people. Crack the window, whatever. All right, that's it, guys. I'm over here at Winco again. I need to pick up another last minute thing here that I just forgot about. And of course, it's a shit show over here. Worse than it was yesterday. It's going to be insane. It's only going to get worse. Stock up while you can. self-checkout line start right back there next person in line on the right hand side in the front I mean, things aren't even that bad yet, and the stores are just crazy. Wow, that was crazy. And a guy comes up, and he goes, sir, are you just trying to check out? I said, yeah. He says, you can go to self-checkout. And I said, yeah, but I got this. Oh, yeah. I got my E&J Grand Blue Brandy. This is the big bottle. 18 bucks. The small bottle at some places is 18 bucks. This is the big old bottle. What is it? How much is in there? I don't know. I can't read it. It's just the biggest bottle they have. They only had two left um, for 18 bucks. I don't know when I'm going to get to the liquor store again to stock up on stuff. And not that I'm a huge drinker, but this stuff is good on coffee. This stuff is good just to sip. If you want something to sip on a little bit for some flavor, this is a good stuff. So anyway, I told him, yeah, but I'm doing this. And most places will not let you do self-checkout with um with booze at all the other grocery stores i go to they won't let you do it he goes nope not a problem here he says um when you get up there it's going to ask for verification somebody will will just come up and verify and then you're good to go so just crazy just crazy 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 okay uh mission number one accomplished so i need to do a couple of more missions i'm going to do a, a pet food stock up And uh, otherwise, that's it. This is the conclusion. I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button. I need subscribers. I need to get to 1,000 subscribers. We can do some live streams out here on the Strip around Las Vegas to see what's going on. So um, 
if you if you haven't yet click the subscribe button or um, maybe send the video to some friends tell them to subscribe we're gonna do some uh, live videos as soon as I can and um, uh, give me some comments on what you think about the video, uh, what you think about um, how they're doing the testing, because I think it's all uh, bass backwards. It's just all, it's the reverse of the way they should be doing it. That's all I got to say. Not trying to get political or anything like that. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense to me, but what do I know? I'm just an amateur. Thanks for watching. As if it was really... Thank you.